He was a good guy, Christian guy. Family and friends from Eduardo Santos's church youth group gathered in front of his aunt's Fairfax County home, a haven to him, they say, since he fled gang violence in El Salvador three years ago. They described the 24-year-old's sudden and severe mental break about eight days before he was shot and killed by a homeowner in Oakton. He started to scream. He started to run out. He started to say that someone was following him to, to kill him. Their efforts included trying to get him committed to a psychiatric facility, but he ran away. They reported him missing, conducted many hours of physical searches, and say they eventually learned he'd been jailed for 24 hours on charges of public intoxication, but he took off again upon release before they could get to him. Police say on Wednesday about 6 p.m., Santos, for unknown reasons, attacked a homeowner on Waples Mill Road with a stick and a large landscaping rock and had made his way inside the house when the man shot him. Police called it an apparent act of self-defense. They determined Santos had been in the area Wednesday afternoon for several hours before the shooting. They say they received two calls describing him as acting suspicious, but they say when officers found him, he was not committing a crime and refused to speak to them before walking away from the area. Heavy grief at not being able to get help for Eduardo Santos, not being able to stop the chain of events weighs heavily on the hearts of those who loved him. We did what was possible and no one helped us. Police say they don't know what led Eduardo Santos to the home where he was killed. They say no one there knew him. In Oakton, Jackie Benson, News 4.